Hey, everyone. Welcome to the show. So Democrats in Nevada blocked a bill for the second time that would have banned untraceable dark money from being used in primary elections. The Progressive Party chair, Judith Whitmer, has submitted this bill twice and twice corporate owned shills in the Democratic Party have shot it down. Basically, they just don't vote on it. If her proposed bill had been approved, it would have been then sent to the Democratic National Committee for a full vote. So, of course, they can't allow that to happen because then the Democratic voters would have been made aware that the DNC has strong relationships with their corporate masters. You know, the DNC would have voted against it, and that would expose them as being no better than the Republicans when it comes to corporate control. So they can't have that outed. Whitmer told Common Dreams that she's disappointed, but she plans to keep fighting. And she said, quote, our party and our country need strong Democratic candidates willing to speak truth to power. But when their messages can be drowned out in a flood of untraceable expenditures, many candidates are questioning why they should ever run. Restoring faith in our democracy has never been more urgent and that all important work should start in our own primary elections. So yeah, this is complete bullshit. This is why we can't have nice things in this country. And this is the true bipartisanship that goes on. The Republicans and the corporate Democrats are perfectly aligned in their protection of dark money and their corporate masters. This is why Biden hasn't kept his promise about a $15 minimum wage. This is why Democratic leadership will never truly push for things like universal health care or mandatory sick leave pay, you know, all these other things that would dip into the pockets of their corporate donors. They can't bite the hand that feeds them. And for anyone who says, oh, yeah, but the Republicans are worse. Yeah, in many ways they are. I completely agree. When it comes to corporate control of Congress, though, the only way that they differ is in the fact that true progressives take no corporate cash. They're the only unbought and unbossed members of Congress, to quote Shirley Chisholm. And here's the thing. You have to clean up your own yard before you go pointing out the weeds and the trash in your neighbor's yard. If you don't, then your neighbor has every right to point out your hypocrisy and ignore you. So if we want the Republican Party to be pushed to be better, then we have to get the trash and the broken down car off of our own lawn. That's the only way to do it. Otherwise, voters look at it and they go, well, really, what's the difference between the two parties? They're not going to look into all of the intricate differences. All they know is that you have two parties that are largely controlled by corporate interests and that do their bidding rather than do what's right for their constituents. So when they see that, they see that it's almost the entire Democratic Party and then you've got the entire Republican Party in the same boat, they're just going to throw up their hands. They're going to say, screw it. I don't care. Doesn't matter who's in control. They're never going to give me what I need to live my life and take care of my family. It's the way it is. And stop with the targeting of progressives. Stop telling me to fall in line. It's not going to happen. Okay. Go tell the corporate Democrats to fall in line. Target them first. Don't tell me not to take on People in my own party. Not going to happen. You're not going to silence me. You're not going to make me submissive and tell, keep telling progressives like me to sit down and shut up anymore. I'm done. Maybe some others will fall in line. I'm not going to. No. Just like when my kids get out of line, when my kids do things that are not right, that are inappropriate, that are hurting people. I call them out on it. I let them know because I want them to be better. Same thing with the Democratic Party. I want them to be better so that we can raise up, so that we can be the majority party. 
But if I just sit silent and let these people run amok and do whatever the hell they want and appease their corporate overlords, that's not going to change anything. It's not going to make the problem better. And by ignoring it or by being even worse, by telling people like me or Republicans that the problem doesn't exist, then what is the difference between the right and the left? If the right won't see the truth about Donald Trump and so much of their failures, and the left won't see the truth about people like Hakeem Jeffries and all of the failures in the, the elite leadership of the Democratic Party, then what is the difference? So, yeah, don't tell me to shut up because all it does is make me scream louder. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching and listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please donate if you possibly can or leave a one-time thank you or tip, uh, depending on what platform you're on right now. Appreciate all of you. Take care. I'll talk with you soon.